Are you tired of your smartphone videos looking over-processed and over-sharpened? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, here we are in DaVinci Resolve. And as you can see, I've got just a basic uh, no tree set up here. Um, if you look right here, you'll see right here, I've got this Edge Detect uh, node. And from here, this is where the magic is going to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to create a line right here. And once we do that, we'll go to our effects browser and we're going to do a search for Edge Detect. And we're going to drag that on over to this node right here. And from here, we're going to go, I'm going to hit Shift H. And I, I select grayscale, just key very because you don't want to mess with the colors. Um, and from here, what we want to do, we want to bring out all the edges. So we're going to, to edge with, we're going to bring that back like this here and i only just crank it all the way back and gamma do the same thing and then you can just kind of brightness is kind of personal i can you know you can make it leave it around me right about there and so what we're going to do from here is we're going to take this output into the blue input of this node i got labeled soften so now we'll go to this node, and as you can see, it is now showing all the edges. And now this is where we're going to go to work. So I'm going to turn off the... And before I change anything, I really want to kind of zoom in and kind of show you what I mean by when I say this is like over-sharpened, over-detailed. You can come over to like... You see this tree, there's like this white outline. Maybe it's not the best one, but if you look, you'll see like a white outline and just uh, see how the branches, you can hardly see them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come over to here. And I'm first going to start, I'm just going to take the highlights and crank them all the way down. And look, see how the difference it makes? And uh, also, I'm going to bring the offset down a little bit, too. I'm probably going to bring this down to about 15. This is right. This point, you're going to want to push and pull and just kind of tweak it to because if you overdo it, that what those white fringe around like the trees and like, I guess, the high contrast areas is going to go from white to black. and It's going to look um, almost cartoonish. So you kind of got to want to you're going to want to, you know, tweak it to you get it to where you like it. And I'm only kicked up the shadows to around about about 45, right about there. And I'm going to zoom back out. And then I'm going to go over towards this blur. And I'm going to crank this up just, you don't have to do this a whole lot, maybe about, about 53. Maybe, let's go 55. And you can already see a big difference. If I take it off, right? So we'll go to fit. I might need to zoom in a little bit. It'll hit about 50%. But you can see how it looks kind of starting to look kind of cartoonish, just a little bit. So I'll now go over here and where it says key input, I normally drop this down to about points. Seven five, and there you go. And you can, you know, again, we'll turn it off and turn it on. We'll turn it off. I just turned it off and turn it back on. And then you can, like I say, you can always go back and just play with it to get it to where you like it. And when you're happy, you're all set to go. Uh, if this video was helpful, you know, give me a like and a subscribe and please share so to help other people out. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Later.